Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. There seems to be a dog barking. <laughs> anyway, yesterday Malta released their official music video. You're just gonna have to ignore that dog. That's really annoying, I'm so sorry. Yesterday, Malta <laughs> released their official music video for their song for Junior Eurovision this year. So Malta is sending Gaia Gambuza with the song Diamonds in the Sky. So I've already listened to this song, I've already reacted to this song, and I've kind of talked about the things that I like about the song and moreover the things that I feel could be improved. And moreover, I kind of hinted to the fact that if the song kind of had a tweak in the production, it could potentially be a song that I could grow to love. So with this music video, we're gonna know effectively if Malta has gone away and done anything in the production. That's what I'm hoping. So I just wanna do a bit of a shout out to um, ESC Gals. So ESC Gals is a YouTube channel. They do podcasts predominantly on YouTube. And please do support them. I'm a huge advocate of anyone who's passionate about Eurovision and goes to YouTube to share that passion. I think I follow like around 100 different YouTube channels of different YouTubers just talking about Eurovision because it's comforting to know there are other people out there like me. <laughs> but anyway, they reached out to me on Instagram. I did know that the music video had been released and I did think, should I obviously add something on my channel regarding to that? And I thought, that's probably fair in the sense of that previous reaction video is probably outdated now, right? If there is a change in the production. So unfortunately, ES Gals has highlighted within their Instagram message that that is in fact the case. So as a result of that, what's now happened is my expectations are now quite high. <laughs> so anyway, further ado, let's check out, yeah, the music video and hopefully a decent revamp. Strong. Right. So there was something in the productions where I think I did make a reference to the fact that there was elements of the production that sounded like an 80s throwback. Even with this brief introduction, I think this is new, this is added. They, like, amped up that 80s feel. And already with, obviously, the music video the 80s references they're evidently going to go down that way which sounds super clever to me sounds seems strong intro okay this is the start of the song It sounds already so much more expensive. I did question because the national final in Malta was done in a tiny studio and I did question the audio quality that was being transmitted at home. So we're now hearing the studio version. I, it sounds very similar to me. I don't know if they have kind of polished it up to make it sound more expensive or whether this was the version that we were supposed to hear originally, but due to the recording quality, it just didn't come through. But it's already... It feels so much more professional. love that electronic um, bit that they put on her voice there. I'm assuming, I always think it's good even at adult Eurovision to go with a theme, i.e. the sound of the song, the music video, a package, have an idea from the very beginning. And I'm hoping they run with this visual idea when it gets to the stage in Armenia in December. But yeah, I love that electronic production they put on her voice there. It just feels a lot professional, but I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for.
Okay, so it's not obviously got to notice that they've definitely tapped into what's current right now, Stranger Things. That is the number one most viewed program on Netflix, right? I still think it's still number one. Makes absolute sense, and I hope they carry this visual to the stage in December. It's also not gone slightly unnoticed that, rightfully so, subscribers who have said it in such a diplomatic way, and I've been like, totally get it, and other people who've decided to say it in a not diplomatic way, where they've said to me, I've made a few references in some of the videos this year for Junior Eurovision that I quite like songs that sound kind of commercial, radio friendly and almost could go to adult Eurovision and people have obviously, some have come for me in regards to that and that's absolutely valid and I've enjoyed having those discussions with people that are able to kind of be clear in regards to their reasoning, why they disagree with me and their position and I always respect that. Others is just like, come on. <laughs> But I just want to stress that I actually really like this song and I think this sounds like a junior friendly song and I'm not backtracking here. Like I could probably sing all of the lyrics to this song already because I've actually listened to this song quite a lot since it's been released, hoping that the production will sound so much better after hopefully a bit of a rejig, a revamp. It's subtle, but it's there. So in my defense, I really like this song. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with what Malta are giving this year. Much better than last year. That was a junior sounding song, which I just didn't gel with. This is a junior sounding song that I do gel with. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Production. I did say in my initial reaction, I'm not a huge fan of replacing a chorus with a, an instrumental, but if they're going with this theme, this kind of 80s throwback theme, and therefore the instrumental is an 80s theme, then I can forgive it. I quite like it. I swear diamonds in the sky. Come with me, one, two, three. It's definitely tapping into Stranger Things. Copyright, they've got to be careful. <laughs> you can look around. Sunrise with diamonds in the sky. Okay, so one current theme that I've been talking to on a few videos in the comments is getting the balance right with the movement and the vocals for young performers because it's so chuffing hard to be able to deliver choreography and deliver a live vocal. At the national final, I felt she did it quite well. The choreo was a bit basic, but at the end of the day, she was able to deliver a vocal. I wasn't crazy about the choreo though, the movements in the national final, and it seems they've kept it in the music video. I completely agree, Gaia needs to make sure she focuses on the vocal and not her movement, but the kind of subtle, small movements in the national final, I wasn't massively convinced. It did feel a bit amateur. So I'm hoping the choreography changes a little bit. In December, at the final, The sky. I'm a bit confused about the music video, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Is there a storyline? We can all the wonders. I'm so confused. The storyline of the music video is very confusing. But I'm loving all the uh, 80 throwback items. Down, 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 bum, 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 bum. Moons in the sky. Friends with diamonds in the sky. Okay, well, I'm so glad I'm hearing a studio version of that song, because like I said, I had been listening to that song quite a bit, but it was just the national final performance, and as I've already mentioned, the quality of that audio wasn't the best. So, watching that music video was certainly a positive experience, and I do generally think that that has elevated the song somewhat. I believe there seems to be some subtle differences in the production. If they were there originally, it wasn't clear, and as I've said, I I wasn't convinced that the auditory quality of the national final gave that song justice, but certainly the elements that I'm now hearing, it sounds much more richer, it sounds much more professional, 
I think it's a good song. I think it's a good song. I'm actually enjoying the quality of the songs. All songs that I've heard so far, there's not been one dud in my opinion. And I think it's quite clever to go with this theme, this 80s theme, because there are obviously countries which are evidently standout favourites currently. And whilst Malta isn't in that mix, I think go with the theme and ensure that the staging, the outfits, the st- the sound which is already being delivered in the production that I can hear is within that theme and you're coming at Junior Eurovision in December and on a different route. <laughs> at the end of the day, you need to be doing something a bit different now. Now we've heard obviously songs from the UK, Spain, the Netherlands, and I think this is quite clever because it's still giving that kind of junior, juvenile feel, but it's doing it in quite a crafty, I would say somewhat artistic way. So I'm looking forward to seeing this on stage, particularly to see what they do with this idea on stage. Malta, both at Adult and Junior Eurovision, they take these contests seriously. And I don't think I've ever been let down by a staging from Malta. So let's see. I think Gaia has got a really good shot at at getting a decent place in December. I'm liking the sound. And ultimately, whilst my issue, slight issue when I watched the national final was with that instrumental replacing a chorus because they've amped up, in my opinion, what I can hear, the 80s production, that instrumental kind of fits in with that. So I can forgive it. And actually, it's, it's a, it is a catchy in- instrumental. So yeah, it's a good song. So well done, Malta. I believe it's a huge, huge, in my opinion, step up from last year. So yeah, thank you very much. So those are my thoughts. What do you think? Uh, how does Malta fare in regards to all of the songs that you've heard so far? For far, what's your thoughts on the music video? If there is a revamp, what's your thoughts on that? I still am not sure. Um, please let me know in the comments below. And if you're still here and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Please do click the notification button so you're informed if and when I post videos. And yeah, until next time, stay safe.